is JP Sounds. What's going on guys? It's Monday. Gotta go to work. Kinda sucks, but whatever. So on Instagram today, a guy DM'd me and he asked, he wanted to know what was the pros and cons of driving on air suspension. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. This right here is that drop top weather. It's nice as hell outside, but I'm gonna roll my windows up. I definitely want to get some tints for this car because it just looks it would just look so much better with tints on the side. But it still looks good. I just rather have tints. I get tickets for the shits all the time when I have my Civic, but I really don't care, so I'm gonna just do it anyway. But yeah guys, about to head off to work in this fish bowl, but it looks good. It does. Hey guys, so this right here is my ride height. It could go a lot lower, but you know, for the most part this is what I'm working with. Because the back of the car is kind of, the wheels are so wide, it like, it erupt on the fender and I don't want it to do that. But the fronts could definitely go lower. I just choose not to. Because it's still, the car is, like I said, the car itself is already low. Alright guys, so I just got some uh, cinematic shots again of my car. Just throwing the vlogs. It's just fun to do, you know? So yeah, I'm about to head off to work. It's kind of, it's really warm out today. It's like, feels so good out. But... You know your boy gotta work, get this paper, so see you guys in a bit. So your boy just finally got to work, about to air out on these peasants. And down we go. Yeah. Drop the hard top, baby. Alright guys, so, like I said, I was asked this question. What are some pros and cons of driving a bag that's 2000? You know, me personally, having bags was a great decision, and I feel like it outweighs the bad. Because at the end of the day, you'll be able to get over obstacles without having to crack anything or break anything or rub up your fenders, you know? Like, all those things that you have to worry about when you're static, you don't have to worry about when you're bagged. Also, it's good, like, airlift has came a long way. Like, bags along, alone, it just came a long way. I would say it was a little bit more iffier back, like, maybe a couple years ago because it was new. Not a lot of people were doing it. And now you see guys who track their cars with bags and, you know, they race their cars with bags. Like, you'd be surprised. This shit really can hold up. So back to my personal use, I just feel like it's way more convenient. And me, I like to ride low. So it's like... When I need to air up, I can air it up and not have to like do the most by like swerving into the next lane to come back into this lane because it's a dip or something. Like I just air the car up, boom, it goes down, come back up. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about those things. So you really have to put those things into mind like, you know, what are you really buying it for? Because me, like I said, where I live in New Jersey, the roads are shitty. Like you could be, it could be perfect smooth pavement on the, the oncoming traffic and be like crazy as hell on your side and when I was static I used to have to like swerve into the other lane and swerve back because I didn't want to crack or damage my rims so like I said having bags I was just able to like you know just swerve around obviously you're not going to still go into the pothole but at least if it's a dip you'll be able to air it up it'll go down and you just go you know what I'm saying so like I said, bags are way more convenient than being static I mean there's going to be a lot of guys who will fight and say you know bags are for bitches and bitch pillows and stuff like that I'm static for life but it's like those guys who are who are those like like that adamant about it they have like the craziest suspension setup like Broadway static where that bitch has no travel in it like that shit is stupid stiff you know what I'm saying so it's like they hit a bump that bitch don't move you know what I'm saying you got guys who really like they're die hard like yo I'd rather have coils than have bags but 
like I said, me personally, it's just for my personal use. It's my comfort. I like it better. It rides good to me. And, you know, I don't feel like I would go back to coils unless I wasn't trying to be lowered, like crazy low. Because right now, I'm into that. Like, I'm into having a lowered car and fit, like fender to lip fitment and stuff like that. I'm into that. And then when I actually do maybe go, like, do the wide body track stance look, maybe not. It's, probably, it's definitely not going to be this year. Maybe, like, next year. Then I'll probably take the, 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 the air suspension off and put the coils on because it's not really needed. So to me personally, I say it's more for you. Like, it's what you want to do. If you're really not into, like, um, being crazy slammed or crazy lowered, I would say you probably shouldn't spend the money and just get you a nice set of coilovers and it could do you the same justice. Like I said, the pros really outweigh the cons because, like I said, I'm if I didn't have bags, I would not be able to fit these wheels. I would have to run some crazy amount of camber to fit these wheels. And on top of that, I would have to do mad fender work because it's like the wheels itself would have to sit a certain way like it has to in, in order for it to clear like if I'm riding regular and the, when the car's sitting up and I hit certain bumps the fender touches the tire it's either you run crazy crazy stretch or you run a crazy amount of camber and I didn't really want to do that so me personally I would say the cons about having air suspension is just maintenance and like I said with maintenance, you just have to make sure that you drain your tank. I would say try to drain your tank at least twice a month. So that way you just clear all the water out. And especially like if you live in colder areas, you definitely want to make sure to put like a... It's this thing called um, air brake line fluid or something like that. And it's like it helps the fluid inside the tank because you know air is going to turn into water from the condensation. So you have to put like... I, I usually put this, this that, that fluid inside there. So that way... Um, it doesn't freeze over the winter because we get cold winters here and you don't want to freeze your lines so that's that's one of the cons like you always have to make sure that everything is like working properly also you also have to be careful with certain styles of bags you get because certain cars like I remember my Civic um, no matter of fact not even like my Civic is just certain cars say for instance like you get a double bellow bag sometimes some double bellow bags won't let you clear certain rims like on my Civic I had put these rims on the front of my car and it was a double bellow bag and it rubbed the bag and it put a it basically gave that bag a small leak so you also have to look into those things so a lot of guys they run sleeves like a sleeve bag so it like I said it all depends on your car because the Civic is like crazy. The suspension is so close to the tire. It's like retarded. Also, you also have to be careful with where the placement of your bag is too. Like, I'm really just showing you just my Civic problem because my exhaust on this S2000 is nowhere near the tire or the suspension or the bag. So it's like, I don't have to worry about that. But with my Civic, I had to worry about it because the exhaust sat right next to the bag. And it was kind of scary because you can blow a bag like that. Also, with um, bags, you just have to make sure that all the bags are perfectly sealed, you know, because you don't want to have bags and the shit is leaking. Like, I had that problem the other day where the thread under the piece um, where the, the line connects into, uh, we I didn't put the, the right amount of thread sealing on it. So it started to leak out uh, when it got colder. Like, when it started getting really, really cold out, it started to leak out a bit. So I would come outside and notice that my car was lowered on one side. So those things you have to make sure you have to check on. Like even if you see your car is doing that, I don't. I honestly wouldn't recommend riding on it because if it has a leak, that means that eventually the pressure in the bag will push the leak hole or whatever it is to open up more and then pop the whole entire thing. And also, like I said, you have to be careful with your ride heights and your PSI's and your dampenings. You know what I'm saying? Like with bags, you really have to be careful. Like I said, you're riding on air, so it's not really like, you know, you have something that's solid, that's that's under you, you know what I'm saying? So you can't think, oh, I could go run into this pothole and be okay, because you can probably bust the bag doing that. In my opinion, if you do want to run bags on your S2000, try to put the whole entire kit and management inside where the, the wheel kit goes into like the spare kit or whatever it goes into try to put it in there because our trunks is already small as it is so it's like once you do that it's like you already lost every trunk space because our trunk is like small like if there's nothing that could fit in there me personally I kind of regret getting such a big ass tank and I'm probably gonna slim down the tank so that way I could put like a sub box in there on the corner pocket of it and 
be able to have a bass and all that music stuff in here because you know the S two thousand is really like loud. You know what I'm saying? So what I have to do is I need to like get some more speakers in here to like just kind of drone out everything. Nothing feels better than you know you're driving your car and it's like you pull into a lot and it's a nice day out and you just air the car out and you just look back at it and just like damn man your shit looks this shit just looks good like my car looks so good being this low i don't know why a lot of people may not like it but to me my shit looks crazy good low you know what i'm saying it just looks better it just looks good i don't know like you can get the same thing with coilovers but you can get the same thing with bags and not have to worry about the whole like damn i'm gonna fuck up my fender or damn i gotta do this damn i gotta move out for this like just hit that bitch button and you're good you don't even gotta worry about it no more like you can have the option of being slammed and riding at stock height if you need to so why not like why not pick bags you know what i'm saying like i said it's expensive but by the time you realize you fix this bumper you fix this lip you had to fix this you had to fix this you had to fix this damn they might as well just got the damn air suspension so i say go for it if you're gonna go for it i'm gonna show you guys my trunk setup I've, i believe i showed it to you guys before but i'll show you again all right so you guys see my gym bag is in here and you see look a gym bag my jack and my tool bag and it's already like packed but what i want to do is i want to put so let me brighten this up for you guys i want to put a sub box in this corner because my first initial thing i was going to put the one that comes for inside here i was going to put it in here but then i went back so i didn't have to worry about it so basically what i did was i got the tank and i ran it, ran it alongside here so it's in the back of the car so that way i have space to put like if i do need to get some type of groceries or whatever because you know this is a grocery getter I could put the groceries in there. Alright, so if you guys can see, right, this is the drain tank. I mean, not the drain kit. This is the drain kit. So this takes the, the fluid from out of side of here and it puts it to the bottom of the car. Here's the compressor. Here's the space for my next compressor. I just haven't gotten it yet, but I will get one. Don't worry about it. Alright, so that's my trunk setup. So basically, I have space on the sides and space right here. So all I got to do now is just put the car tarp back over it. I kind of want to plexiglass this so that way I could put some type of lighting inside of it. So if I do open my trunk up to people, they'll be able to see it. And it'll look dope. If you see here, you can see that I mounted this to the board that's on top. Alright, and then there's like support boards under. Alright, so if you see this is part of one of the support boards, but I have three under there. And that's my trunk setup, guys. So yeah guys, that's my trunk setup. Just look at it. Okay? That's a sexy beast right here, okay? You know what I'm saying? That's my trunk setup and that's really much it. I got a lot more things that I want to do. I got so much more in mind. Just have to keep working hard towards it, get this goal done. And we'll be there, man. Guys, I'm friggin' hungry, man. I'm about to go get me some, like, Chipotle or something. I'm kind of fiending for something. And I also want to go back to that uh, warehouse kind of style, industry, industrial look, backdrop. I want to get some shots. So I'm about to go do that right now before the sun goes down because it's 6.30 and the sun starts to go down. Well, it's cloudy out now. It's not sunny anymore. It's fucking weird. I think it's going to rain. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to try and get some shots real quick. So see you guys in a bit. this boys out here getting this footage for you guys it's fucking dope so expect the feature soon what's up guys so I just finished the gym your boy arms is sore about to go to this one spot it has like a whole bunch of lights it's in the parking lot or like a parking deck but it has like a cover on top of it it's, it's kind of dope I want to get some shots there of the car so that's what I'm about to do now. It's right next to my gym. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do it while I have the Ronin with me. So that's what I'm about to go do right now. So you guys are about to see that in like two seconds. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, guys. Your boy 
is finally home, man. Where's my crazy dog? Look at him. Yeah, man, I'm home. About to get me something to eat. I don't know what's in the microwave here. Ooh, Parmesan. And some spaghetti, I guess. It's kind of a weird combo, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm hungry. That gym session was type intense. Full moment to the fullest. Flonix. Six is greater than one. Changes everything. Well, we got the drink in here. Damn it. Ain't hey, nothing to drink. Fuck it. About to hit you guys with some food porn. Ooh, research and awareness charity called Autism Alright guys, so your boy's finally home. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you for all the support. We're at 800 and like 20 some subscribers now and it's it, it feels great. And I just want to say, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, share, you know. Help me help you. <laughs> Till tomorrow, guys. Peace.